Hello. Welcome back to a makeup video. <clears throat> It literally feels like it's been years since I've done one of these. Am I at the right angle? There, that's better. Hi, it's been a very long time since we've done a makeup video. Um, I have 18,000 other videos already filmed, including monthly favorites and empties and all of the things. And then I hit that, I wouldn't really call it a breakdown, but I got overwhelmed and took a break, went on vacation to the mountains, got back, today's Wednesday, um, the fourth, yes, in real life. This isn't going up until next week because I already have this week's videos done. Um, ugh. but I wanted to do this just so we can like start afresh. And so Brittany in the next few videos that you see is going to be stressed out Brittany. <laughs> um, so I already did my base and my brows because it's literally the most boring part. Uh, so I thought it would be fun to do our face makeup and our eye makeup. Today's from the title, you could probably tell it's our very first fall makeup look. So um, I'm going to go in with my bronzing act from Pure. I've really been enjoying this. It's really, really pretty. It's like hula light. It's just light enough to give you that little bit of definition, but it's cool tone, so it actually creates a shadow. It's not like bronzing, like warming up your face. I love it. Um, so today, like I said, is Wednesday the 4th. Today is the day that I am announcing the collaboration with Glisten and Glow, which you guys have already hopefully seen by now. Um, and I'm so stinking nervous and excited and I just want everyone to be excited. <laughs> uh, that's always the fear is that people are like, what do you do? I hope not just because it's like not only glisten and glow, which how I landed that collab is just amazing. Um, but it's also for a cause for the USO and so I feel like that always tends to tug on the little heartstrings and that's not why we did it. The USO actually means something to me as a military wife and especially of a husband who's been deployed twice so the USO does a lot for military families <clears throat> and the fact that Jill even agreed to do a donation uh, is amazing. She doesn't do a ton of donations and so um, I shouldn't say that. She doesn't do donation collections. She's done one for breast cancer because that was very personal for her. Her mom um, was diagnosed with breast cancer. I want to say it's been two years now. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy Air Blush. I just felt like this was very like warm and fallish. Peachy. Um, so, you know when I proposed that we donate to the USO, she was like, okay, absolutely. I was like, wow. Um, Cause like I said, she just doesn't do a lot of collections for that. This is a really pretty blush. I, I feel like this is the perfect time of year to use it. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I just realized that I'm kind of bougie right now, but um, with the next two products, that's okay. With this one and the next one. So today's the day. It's also therapy day and it's also <clears throat> my last photo shoot day. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Gold Bar. But it has all three bars of gold palette. Excuse me. Why does she make these so hard to open? Why? I think I'm going to just go in with maybe the middle one and this one. This one's way too dark for me. And to do that, I need my uh, Wayne Goss brush. Bougie. Bougie, bougie, bougie. Ooh. Also day two of me waking up at 5 a.m. See, I want that gold. I feel like gold screams fall. Just to give everything a nice mix of roo I'm gonna use my um, Meteorites. This is the Electric Pearl. I don't remember which season this was from or which year. Last year, I want to say. And so I'm just going to take a big old fluffy brush 
and blend all of this in. I'm mostly trying to fuse this blush. <laughs> um, okay. Now, we're going in with my favorite, the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. So this was released last year on QVC, I'm pretty sure only. And, oh crap, speaking of QVC, I have a collab with them coming up. A campaign, not a collab. Um, but they're bringing it back in a different version that doesn't look as good as this one, but I probably would still get it because it has more browns, and this has a lot of pinks in it, which I don't know if you can tell from the um, video. The video on there always looks different on, you know, real life. Um, so just keep your eyes peeled for that. If you want to stay up on all the makeup news that doesn't involve large jerky YouTubers like Jen Loves Reviews, um, follow Savannah's Beautifully Life, Beautiful Life, Savannah, who is my girl, I love her to death, um, she always posts really good makeup news and stuff like that, and that's actually who I saw it from, because she's been pining after this one, and so I told her, the whole entire collection last year, I think was like 50 bucks, I want to say, and you got this, a brush, a lip gloss, and a full size better than sex. Somebody has the whole entire thing for like $60, which isn't the biggest markup ever um, on Mercari. So uh, there was a couple of people that actually had it. The lowest though that I saw was like 60, some were like up to 80, but um, I love this little palette. So I'm not telling you to go spend that amount of money. It's your choice. But um, I'm gonna go in with, I think, I'm gonna do one of my matte eyes with no wing today because it's photo shoot day. Um, so I'm gonna start off light with Love in Pumpkins, which is like a pretty pink shade. And I'm using a Jeffrey Morphe Star brush. Um, which one are you? JS8, which is just like a fluffy brush. So I think I want the, my all over my lid as pretty as a pumpkin, so that's what we're gonna work on. Um, so, I was telling you that today's my second day of waking up at 5 a.m. I read, while we were camping, I read, um, Rachel Hollis' Girl Stop Apologizing, and it was so good. From a business standpoint of view, I think it was a really, really good book. Um, she had some really great tips and tricks in there, some really great inspirational portions, um, and I really, really liked it. I would love to read Girl, Wash Your Face, I think was the one that like boosted her career to the moon. Um, so I'm gonna take this JS10, which is like a packing brush, and I'm gonna pack Pretty as a Pumpkin on there and just kind of place it. I want it all over my lid. And I want it precisely in certain, like I don't want it all up in my inner corner, so. Um, but it was funny, I didn't even realize this until after I got back and I was talking to one of my friends about it. And she was like, you know, I have never read the books. However, I've listened to other people's reviews on it that I thoroughly trust. Um, and they took it from like a theological, oh, battery's dying. Ugh. Sorry, my battery died. Um, she was looking at it from a theological view and as well as like the reviewers and they weren't too thrilled with her saying that like you create your own destiny you're in charge of your future and um you know stuff like that and while i can see how she thought that would be motivational and like you know pumping you up to like get work done and to pursue your dreams she also did start off with the book saying that she was like a christian woman and you know, her faith comes first and stuff like that. And so, you know, by biblical background, I guess, or teachings, biblical teachings, you are not in charge of your future. You're not in charge of your destiny. Um, everything is pre-planned and up to God. And, you know, uh, I just look at it as like, I know that, but I also know that nothing comes without work and so that's why I enjoyed it so much is that it was very motivational for me to like get my work done and she like broke it down into such layman's terms and some of it was like basic knowledge that you don't even think of like 
she said, um, you know, pursue one goal at a time. And I don't really agree with that because you guys know me. My hands are in all the buckets of podcasts, of blogging, of YouTube, of Instagram, Coco Floor. And so I don't agree with that necessarily. And I know maybe if I did divide or I didn't divide, because I do divide my t attention, if I focus all of my attention on one project, that maybe it would go further, but I enjoy having more than one project because each project offers a different aspect of creativity. Um, like blogging, I used to be such a good writer, and I, not to toot my own horn, but I really was, I was a very good writer. Um, I think just because I put a lot of sense of humor in it, it wasn't, you know, anything groundbreaking or anything like that, but I did used to write stories um, of like real life events. I probably could write a book if I really wanted to, but as of right now, that's not a goal of mine. After reading Rachel Harris's book though, that may change. Um, but I like straight away came home and wrote two blog posts that I'm like really proud of and that I think are really funny. And so anyway, um, you know, blogging offers the chance for writing outlet. Instagram offers the creativity of different pictures and style and um, products and stuff like that. YouTube is just a documentation of life and I really, really enjoy that, especially like the vlogging aspect. And um, you know, Coco Floor, I get to design everything myself. Like that's pretty stinking cool if you think about it. You could design your own clothes. Um, so I'm just gonna take this brown right here that's called Oh My Gourd. Oh My Gourd. Um, and just buff that into the, uh, that little crease to, what am I trying to say? Blend, thank you, that harsh edge of the orange. I haven't done makeup in over a week and so I'm like, what if I forgot how to? <laughs> um, so anyways, you know, I could see how her starting off with saying like, I'm a Christian and my faith comes first, but then saying like you, take control of like your destiny and stuff like that like I could see how if you're looking at it from a Christian standpoint like that is a no-no almost but like I said I wasn't looking at it from that aspect I'm looking at it from an entrepreneurial aspect <laughs> um, and she was very motivating and so one of the things that she said and that I used to do and I just kept falling off the wagon was waking up early um, she was talking about how she has her best energy in the morning and like she gets the best writing she gets the most done and you know it was just important for her because she has four kids which I cannot even imagine um, although she does have like a nanny and a cook and all of that which I'm not shaming her for that I think that's amazing but that's also probably how she makes having four kids like a little bit easier while writing I think she's had like six books now um, anyways that's when she got the most done, this and that. And I was like, dude, I'm such a morning person. Like, I'm such a, such a morning person. So I don't know why I thought, you know, staying up late was doing anybody any good because it sure as heck wasn't doing me any good. I can tell you that right now. Um, so I'm taking a fluffier JS6, but it's like, it's wider, but it's stiffer. And I'm putting that into pumpkin spice right here. And I'm just gonna put that in the outer crease outer corner area just to like deepen it up so it's not just like orange <laughs> um, so waking up at 5 was like a really good one and I was like 5 is a little bit on the early side so I compromised with myself and gave myself 530 so um, I'm on day number two although I, I did wake up really really early when we went camping too just because everybody does and you can hear like everybody scrambling around at the different sites um, the you know and so that was one. And then another one was like water. And I know you're thinking like, duh, drink water. Everybody says drink water. But she like told you a good way of like how to keep track of how much water you're actually supposed to drink. She's like, take your weight, divide it in half. And that's how many ounces you should be drinking. And I know you're thinking like, you're gonna be at the bathroom constantly. And the answer that, to that is absolutely you will be. She's like, but that's good. Your body's flushing out everything. Like, imagine how many things are leaving your body and how much weight you can lose just by drinking that much water. And so, yesterday, I don't think I did exactly how many I was supposed to, 
but I was really, really close. And the only reason why I say that is because I use my hospital cup. Every mom knows what I'm talking about when I say my hospital cup. Everybody gets these gigantic pitchers <laughs> uh, of water while you're at the hospital. And um, three of those, which would be like 96 ounces, is like exactly where I need to be. Um, 90 if I'm being honest with you guys. So now you know how much I weigh. Uh, not that I care, but um, Aiden got a hold of it and was drinking some of one of them. And so I don't think it was exactly 90 ounces. Not that I'm beating myself up over it, but I was literally running to the bathroom all day. I was like about to pee my pants. My body was like, what is happening? It's like flooding on the insides. I'm having inside floods. Um, why does this look so sloppy? Does it look sloppy to you guys? And this is gonna be a perfect transition. You guys know me and what I do in order to um, change up a look is I'll add a wing liner, I'll change my lip, I'll add some glitter. It's just perfect, it's just perfect. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave that. Oh no, you know what I wanna do actually? Is a very, very bright inner corner highlight. You know me. See how hyper I am? It's like six o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna put the All Tied Up from the Too Faced Natural Lust Palette. This is literally my favorite inner corner highlight I've ever come across. It's just so bright and white. Although I should be probably using gold now that I think about it. Mm, let's see what this is. So those are my thoughts on that book. Um, and she goes into so much more depth about like actually networking and you know stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Strawberry Spray. The sprayer is messed up on it, so I have to hold it like super super far away. Why does my blush look so funny on camera? And use my fan that Miss Nessa got me. Look at how orange my, uh, or blue my eyes look from wearing orange. I don't know why that was so hard to say. <laughs> um, I'm wearing Sergeant Coco on my hands, just for anybody who's interested. Just, you know, Friday the 13th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. West Coast Time, Pacific Standard Time, I'm just saying. Sergeant Coco. Just for anybody. All right, I'm gonna use this little Tarte Man Eater mini. I need a new mascara. <sighs> this one's so dried out, like it's like not even getting anything on my lashes. <laughs> and then this Stila one that I got from Amazon is so wet, dude. It clumps them up like Tarantula City. I'll never forget. So you guys know I have like super long lashes. I have my whole entire life. It's just genetics. Uh, praise God. And I remember when I was younger and like first getting into makeup when my mom finally allowed me to wear black mascara instead of blue mascara, which was like my freshman year. And we used to sit, um, we were the kids that sat in the back of the bus, me and my best friend Christina, which I'm sure if you've been with me for a while, you know Christina. She's my best friend I've ever, uh, she's the best friend I've ever had. Um, but we've known each other since we were little kids. And so, anyways, freshman year, somebody's made a guest appearance. I'm sure you guys don't care. So, for freshman year, we used to sit in the back of the bus and there was two other girls that used to sit with us that, um, our freshman year we went to a charter, I don't even know what you would call it. They called it a magnet school, but it wasn't. It was like a ghetto school. And then they had like a private, couple of private programs inside of this crappy ghetto school to like raise their um, testing Hi. scores, I think they said. And so anyways, it was like a 30 minute drive to our, from our beautiful suburbs to this like inner city ghetto school. Looking back at it now, I don't know why our parents let us go there. I'm pretty sure we were adamant. But anyways, um, there were two other girls that used to sit in the back of the bus with us, and one of our, their names was Alexis, and the other one was Candace. I'll never forget this. And 
they were like the type of people that were like really blunt and honest. And Alexis used to give me such a hard time about my lashes. She's like, girl, why are you rocking those tarantula lashes? She's like, you have long, beautiful lashes and they're all stuck together like this. And she used to like separate them with her fingers, which now that makes me cringe. I mean, and having anyone's eyes like, or dirty hands coming into my eyes, but she used to sit there and separate my lashes with her hands. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It's such a random story, but it always pops into my head whenever I say tarantula lashes, because she always used to tell me that, why do you have such tarantula lashes? And she would do that with her hand. I was like, leave me alone. See, everything always looks better once you put mascara on. Even if they're tarantula lashes. Okay, and now you know. You have to know what lipstick I'm about to use. You just have to know. It is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. I know that it's probably irritating. I don't think you can get these anymore either. I'm hoping Too Faced will bring back that kit because you guys know that the Too Faced Liquid Lip is my favorite formula. Um, but this one is even better than their regular in line, which I've talked about so many times, but. You see what I mean? A lipstick just changes and completes an entire look. Just makes the face. And those ones are so opaque. You only need one freaking coat. Unlike those Jeffree Star shenanigans. <laughs> my son just shushed me because my daughter's sleeping. Thank you, baby. That's nice. So, that's it for this video. I... Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, hello, welcome. My name is Brittany Coco. This is the Coco channel. I do hope you decide to subscribe if you are not already. I know we don't have a lot of time in this world and any time you choose to spend on this channel truly means a lot to me. Um, I would love to have you a part of this Coco family. Um, and yeah, other than that, let me know what you think about fall down below. If you have the old Too Faced palette or if you're gonna get the new Too Faced palette, I feel like I just wanna get it to compare it to the old one. It's probably a waste of money, but I'm also a basic white girl and love pumpkin spice everything, so having two would not be unnatural to me. So, that's it. I love you guys. I thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Okay, bye! Hey guys! Oops. Oops. I don't want to do a freaking. And it's day number two of me waking up at five. Oh, my dog is going to be the death of me. It's all. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Ah, oh, I just went in with the wrong color.